Johnny Silverhand, The Anarchist, Cyberpunk 2077. Johnny Silverhand, a name that echoes through the annals of history like the strum of a guitar string. Born as Robert John Linder, he rose to fame as the lead singer of the legendary band Samurai. His voice a siren's call to a generation lost in a world of corporate corruption and government oppression. A military veteran, he channeled his experiences into a movement, the Rocker Boy Rebellion, that shook the foundations of the status quo. He was a charismatic leader, a man of the people, but also a terrorist, a manipulator, and a man with a quick temper, shaped by the horrors of the Second Central American War. I saw a corpse transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams and emptied pockets. Corpse have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. I've declared war not cause capitalism's a thorn in my side, or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war is a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. Despite his flaws, his dedication and ambition burned like a fire within him, fueling his crusade against the powers that be. He was a force of nature, a man who didn't care about the people around him as long as they served his purpose. Johnny Silverhand, a name that will forever be etched into the hearts and minds of those who heard his music and felt his message. Born in the heartland of America, Robert John Linder was a young man with fire in his belly and a hunger for adventure. He lied about his age and enlisted in the military, eager to see the world and make a difference. But the reality of war was a harsh lesson. In the bloody conflict of Nicaragua, John saw the true face of corruption and manipulation. His life was saved by a friend, but at a great cost. And as the secrets of the government were laid bare, Many soldiers like John chose to desert rather than fight for a cause they no longer believed in. The government's response was a vicious propaganda campaign, painting the deserters as traitors. But John refused to be a pawn in their game, and he left the military, leaving behind the name Robert John Linder. He journeyed to Night City, where he stayed in a hotel for a month, taking time to process the trauma and grief of war. He emerged from that time of reflection as Johnny Silverhand, a new man with a new name and a cybernetic arm that served as a constant reminder of the price he paid for his freedom. Johnny had a burning desire to expose the corruption and lies of the powers that be. He knew that the best way to reach the masses and inspire change was through music. So he teamed up with his friend, Carrie Urodyne, and together they formed a band that would come to be known as Samurai. They started small, playing in backstreet clubs and dive bars, honing their craft and building a following. The first gig was in a small bar called Red Dirt, but it wouldn't be long before they caught the attention of the music industry. One fateful night, while performing in a bar called Rainbow Cadenza, they were discovered by a producer named Jack Masters. He saw something special in them, and soon they were signed to Universal Recording. With the addition of band members Denny, Nancy and Henry, Samurai was born. Their music was revolutionary, striking a chord with the disillusioned youth of America. They sang of rebellion and resistance, and their message resonated with a generation of young people looking for a way to fight back against the corrupt system. Their rise to fame was meteorotic and they soon topped the charge and became one of the biggest bands in the country. But, as with all success stories, there were personal struggles behind the scenes. Despite the band's success, Samurai was plagued by internal issues, but Johnny's determination and ambition kept them going. But, even with all the fame and success, Johnny never lost sight of his mission to expose the truth and inspire change through his music. The 2010s were a tumultuous time for Johnny Silverhand, a time of rebellion and heartbreak. He continued his crusade against corruption, taking to the streets of Japantown for a free benefit concert, 
drawing attention to the brutal methods used by the NCPD to quell the homeless riots. But his personal life was in turmoil as well. His relationship with Roe came to an end in 2011, after she discovered he had cheated on her, and on August 4th of 2013, while on a walk with his former girlfriend, Ald Cunningham, they were ambushed by thugs hired by the powerful corporation Arasaka. Johnny was injured, Alt was kidnapped and taken to develop a new variant of the Soul Killer software she had written for ITS. Determined to save her, Johnny gathered a strike team, consisting of his ex-girlfriend Rogue, media reporter Thompson and a nomad named Santiago. They planned to infiltrate Arasaka Tower in Night City. As a diversion, Johnny called in a favor from his old band Samurai, who performed a free concert right in front of the tower. The concert sparked a riot and troops were called in to control the situation. In the chaos, Alt was killed by Soul Killer and trapped in the Arasaka mainframe. Johnny and his team infiltrated the tower, while Alt fought for her life inside the mainframe, trying to find a way back to her body. In 2020, Johnny Silverhand's world was turned upside down. The corporation, known for its financial and political influence, had designs on Alt's incredible talent as a programmer and wanted her to create a software called The Soul Killer that would copy and download any Netrunner's mind, a dangerous technology that would have killed anyone whose brain they wanted to copy. But alas, they arrived just moments too late and Alt died, in a way. Her mind was trapped inside Arasaka mainframe, but Johnny was determined to get it back. His quest to save Alt was met with formidable obstacles, none more deadly than the terrifying Borg, Adam Smasher. Legends say Adam Smasher shot Johnny with a rifle, and his body was never found as Militech, a company opposing Arasaka, launched their attack at the same time, dropping a bomb on the Arasaka building destroying any evidence of Johnny's fate. The fate of Johnny Silverhand is shrouded in mystery, but his engram in 2077 tells a different tale. According to it, they managed to escape the fight with Smasher and attempted to reach the helicopter where Rogue was waiting, but was once again stopped by Smasher. He was presumed dead, shot down by the Borg, but in reality, Johnny was recovered by Arasaka interrogated and subject to the Soul Killer program, his consciousness scanned and stored on an engram. His physical body died and was allegedly buried in concrete in the derelict oil fields just outside of Night City. Despite there being no body to bury, a niche was dedicated to his memory at the North Oak Columbarium. His epitaph, using his real name, reads Robert John Linder, son of a bitch who never gave up. A legend among legends. And so, the legend of Johnny Silverhand lives on, a symbol of rebellion and resistance, forever etched in the hearts of those who knew him.